Hi, Scorpios. Hello, hello. Hey, guys. I am back. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. What's going on, family? Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. I hope that you guys are enjoying your Saturday. As you see, guys, I got my nails taken off. I've slammed my hand at least three times on my middle finger, so I had to go get them removed. So I'm giving my nails a break for about a week, maybe a week or two, and then I'll go back and, you know, get them all cute and stuff. But for right now, I'm just going to let them breathe for a little moment, okay? As you guys see, I got small fingers. <laughs> all right, so guys, this is going to be a collective reading, so I don't know for sure what is going to come out. So, of course, as always, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't when it comes to the readings, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's get into this message. <clears throat> if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. All right, so let's see what the universe has for us Scorpios. Let's see what the universe has for you guys. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I want to call upon Archangel Gabriel to protect me as I channel the messages. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft, low vibrational energy coming towards my channel, my Scorpio Stinger family, my home, and myself. I ask that you remove that energy. Return it back to sender. 10,000 fold in Jesus' name. It is so. Amen and amen. All right. So, Scorpio, let's see what the universe has for you. Holy Spirit, please open up the spiritual realm. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. All right. So this card flipped out, guys. Facing reality. Okay. Facing reality. So that is going to be our overall energy here. So when it comes to facing reality. Oh, let me show you guys can see it here. So when it comes to facing reality, some of you guys, this is kind of one of more, one of this type of energy where you're taking the rose colored glasses off, okay? You are not seeing things in more of illusion. You're seeing things for what it is, you know? Now, this can also be someone else in your energy that's now starting to face reality of you guys' relationship, their actions, what they have done to the relationship, or this can be a friendship. Maybe there's a friend that's trying to now face reality on what has been done when it comes to maybe a friendship. This can, this can be anything. This can be a job situation. You may be facing a reality of, you know what, I'm working too damn hard and I'm getting paid less. Let me figure something else out. You know, just the rose colored glasses is coming off. You're seeing things for what they are. Okay. All right, so let's get into this reading, guys. All right, so let's get this clarified. Holy Spirit, clarify face and reality for Scorpio. Clarify face and reality for Scorpio. Simon Rising and Venus. What is it that the Scorpios are needing to know? <clears throat> One more shuffle. I keep seeing the full card every time I shuffle. So some of you guys can have Aries in your chart or you're dealing with an Aries. You may be just in the energy of ready to start over, have a new beginning, have a fresh start in your life, okay? All right, so. All right, let's get started. Tell me about face on reality. And guys, I'm kind of back in my chair a little bit. Um, I'm having some back pain today, so I needed to get some rest. But I still have a little pain in my lower back. So if I'm not all up in the camera like that, that's because I have some pillows on my back, okay? All right, so we have the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more. Okay, so we have here the flipped out, the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? And then right below that, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. All 
I feel like someone is now, they're at a point in their life where they're like, you know what? I'm really struggling out here. I'm going through a hard time financially. My health is going down. I need to take action right now. I need to take action. Some of you guys could be struggling with your finances. You may feel abandoned by family, friends. You feel like an outcast and you're facing the reality of that. So I feel as though right now you're wanting to take control over your life. You want to step into whatever vision that you may have had. You're ready to just take charge of your life. You're ready. It's kind of like you know that right now I need to do something about my situation. Okay. A lot of you guys, you're waiting for opportunities to come towards you. You're ready to grow as an individual. You're waiting for something different to come into your life. You're trying to gain that confidence to wait for your turn for good things to come towards you. You're definitely looking ahead. You feel like things are moving slow in your life, but you're kind of waiting. You know, you're hoping that your ships come in. You're hoping that something better comes towards you in the future. But your goal right now, you may be in this energy of, you know what, I need to just be single, independent, focus on my craft. That's your goal, but you feel like things are moving slow here. Okay. All right, tell me more. Ooh. <laughs> Cars didn't want to go back together. Yeah, someone is in that energy of, you know what, I'm going through a lot of shit. Like, my health is decreasing. My finances are not where to be. I'm going through hard shifts. My money ain't right. I need to do something about this, you know? All right, tell me about facing reality. Thank you. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, tell me more. Thank you. Page of Pentacles. Wow, there's a lot of uh, Earth sign energy here. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This may be your person. This could be your energy, okay? All right, bottom of the deck, we have, wow, Taurus energy here. Capricorn Taurus Taurus with the King of Pentacles, okay? We also have the Five of Wands, and we have the Magician energy. Wow, look at that at the bottom, more Earth energy. So this is heavy Earth signs here, heavy Earth signs. You may have this as your rising, your moon, Venus, Mercury placement, North Node, South Node, but I just feel as though, honestly, right now, There's a lot going on here. The goal is to be successful, to be reliable, to put yourself in a, in a place where, excuse me, you want security, you want stability, you want prosperity. And I feel like you guys are trying to manifest that in your life. You just want to be successful. You're tired of being in this situation where you're always struggling. You know, you're out of work. You know, you're in an issue where you may be losing a home. Your health is failing, you know. It's kind of like you're just facing reality, like, I got to do something about this. I got to make a change in my life. So with that Seven of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, you're putting the hard work into whatever goals and achievement that you're trying to do. You're working hard every day. You're planting, to, planting the seeds. You're realizing that, hey, right now, I know if I want to get to the top, if I want to be successful, I want to be able to take care of my kids, my mother, my father, or just be in a more financially stable type of energy i'm gonna to have to put in the work yeah i'm gonna to have to get out here and maybe either go back to school i'm gonna to have to learn a new trade a new skill i'm gonna to have to put the work in i'm gonna to have to invest into myself you know yeah because my goal is to be a boss to be a leader to build my empire but it seemed like it's so hard for me to get to where i want to be i feel like you guys are <clears throat> battling within yourself there's not a conflict with anyone else. This is a conf conflict within yourself. And right now, you're trying your best to just manifest using all the tools and resources that you have. You're trying to be that powerful manifesto that you can be. Think more logically. Some of you guys may be even coming up with creativity. For some reason, I'm getting someone here wants to be more self-sufficient. Yeah. But your finances are kind of all over the place, you know, with the two of pentacles. Fast as there is coming in, it's going right back out, you know. Tell me more about face and reality for the collector. And of course, guys, as always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Tell me more for the collector. 
One more shuffle. I keep seeing the Ten of Swords every time I shuffle. So a lot of you guys feel like you hit rock bottom. You just feel like things are just everywhere you turn. Wow, look at there. Look what flipped out. The Empress. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you guys are ready to step into your divine feminine energy. Some of my ladies here, you could be pregnant currently or you already are a mother. If neither one of those apply to you, you just in this divine energy where I feel like you guys are star seeds. You are a chosen one because as you see on the Empress card here, she has a crown. So you are, it's kind of like you're facing the fact like I can do this. You know, I have this beautiful, nurturing, caring energy. I'm always giving to others. I need to give back to myself. I need to step into my highest frequency. I need to step into my divinity. I need to connect more with the universe and realize that I am powerful. I can achieve anything. It's kind of like more of you realizing your value, your worth. High Priestess. Pisces energy. Yeah, see, with these two cards coming out together, I feel like now... These are actually, these are two powerful cards together because the Empress is very intuitive. She's spiritual. So it's kind of like at this point, you're realizing, you know what? Let me step into my subconscious. Let me follow my intuition. Let me be that nurture energy I know I can be. Let me sit on my throne and wear my crown. I need to be more of a lady. Or for my fellas, I need to get in my feminine energy. I need to connect with the higher source. I need to connect with my ancestors. Listen to my spirit guide reality face and reality is here some of you guys realizing your value your worth you know who you are you know that you need to be on a higher frequency a higher vibration yeah judgment is at the bottom of the deck scorpio energy wow these are three powerful cards together it's like honestly someone is realizing i need to figure out my purpose I need to go through this spiritual awakening. I need to reevaluate re my choices, my decisions that I've been doing in life. I need to step into my highest potential. I need to sit back and reflect on the actions, the things that have happened in my life. I need to give my life to the most high. Angels, ancestors, I don't know what to do. I need to renew my energy. I need to call judgment on my life. Okay? Wow. This is powerful. The Empress is the queen of all queens. This is Mother Earth energy. This is Goddess energy. The High Priestess is a tarot reader, someone who's psychic, someone who is tapped in. Mm. A lot of you guys, you possibly are in this energy now. Like, you know what? I do have powers. I can manifest. I can break anything into reality. I just have to step into my higher self. I am a divine feminine. Divine feminine. I am connected to my, my source. I'm connected to Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, my ancestors. I am powerful. I am protected. You know? Some of you guys possibly just realizing how intuitive that you are. Okay? Tell me more for the collective. Someone's first, middle, or last initial can begin with the letter B or the letter J. Somewhere within your name. Yeah, you guys are a high priestess. Some of you guys may be interested in learning tarot because I see the page of pentacles and the high priestess. You may be able or, or you may be taking classes, maybe investing into yourself to maybe learn tarot or tapping more into your higher frequency, your divine feminine energy. All right, tell me more. What's the final message here? Face of reality. Thank you. Wow. Two of swords. Mm. You guys may also be in this energy where I'm also picking up that you may be blind to the truth or you may not see something for what it is. You may be trying to avoid this reality. Someone here could be avoiding facing this reality. We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, Two of Cups. Wow. And the Ace of Cups here. Hmm. Six of Swords is at the bottom of this deck here. A lot of you guys, you want true love. You want a new beginning in love right now. You really do. You want a spiritual union with someone. You want to be able to find your true love. You want someone that you can build a divine union with. You want someone who's going to be your partner in crime. You want this love to come from the most high. You want a blessing. But I feel like you guys are spending a lot of time alone right now. 
being in solitude, even though you do want true love in your life. Also, I just heard someone is realizing, damn, I'm alone. I am alone. I do want true love. I want this love to come from the most high. But it seems like to me, with the two of swords and the knight of cups, you may not see this coming that there's someone that's interested in you. The knight of cups is like a charmer, someone who brings you flowers, who will take you out on dates. This is someone who's artistic. They're creative. But I feel as though you may be blocking out love, even though you do want love. Because like I said, with the Hermit, Virgo energy, you may be just spending a lot of time alone. Yeah. You may be stopping your own happiness when it comes to love. Mm. I don't know. It seems like someone here is in some type of denial. They're like keeping themselves stuck. Not seeing something for what it is. Hmm. Wow. It's kind of like, yeah, kind of like, and I, I keep getting this. It's like you're blocking yourself off from love coming towards you. It's like you've been alone for so long that really, truly, honestly, you do want true love. You want someone who's going to meet your energy, divine feminine to divine energy, divine feminine to masculine energy. You want this new love. Hmm. Yeah, because see, a lot of you guys, you really just focus on moving forward with healing your energy. A lot of you guys, like I said, are going through transition. Some of you guys with that Queen of Pentacles, right now, you could just be focused on your finances right now, your stability. You're trying to reap what you sow. You're studying. You're trying to understand who you are. I'm picking up a lot of mother energy here. So I'm picking up mothers. See, a lot of you guys are focused on your home right now. Hmm. You may be trying to work so hard to either build a new home, buy a new home. You just want this reward of, damn, I did it. See, right now, you're just focused on stability. You're trying to move forward. Even though you want love, I'm getting you. Yeah, you guys are blocking out love right now because you're so focused on learning new skills. Stepping, stepping into your higher self because you may have went through some type of hardship. Losing a home, lost a job, temporary struggling, health situations, you know. So right now you're just in this energy of, I got to take care of my kids. I got to focus on my home. I got to focus on my job, my career. That's all I can focus on right now is home, me, my kids right now. Love, I'm not trying to, even though I want it right now, my energy is more focused on my home and kids, you know. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So some of you guys can have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag in your chart, okay? All right, guys. So this is what I have for you. Wow, this is powerful. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.